So here we are at Buford Jasper Water and Sewer Authority's Chelsea Water Treatment Plant. This plant is rated for 24 million gallons a day and how we get our source water is through an 18 mile long canal that comes from the Savannah River. Once the water comes into the plant, this is where we begin to treat the water, to turn it into drinking water. There's really four stages to this conventional surface water treatment plant. There's coagulation, flocculation, sedimentation, and filtration. And once it goes through those four stages, then that's where we add our disinfectant, our corrosion inhibitor to protect the pipes and a little bit of fluoride. Then we put it in our clear wells and before we pump it to the communities, we add ammonia to form chloramines in the water. This ensures that there's no nothing harmful in the water at the far ends of our territory. So the first stage of treatment is the coagulation process. And that happens right over here. It's when we inject a chemical, we use alum and a little bit of lime to start breaking down the source water and turn it into drinking water. And what the coagulation process does in conjunction with the flocculation process is you're basically giving positive charges to all the impurities and particles that you can see in the water and that you can't see. You're giving them a positive charge where they form what we call a flock. So they all start attracting to each other and clumping together. And then that's what you wanna see before it gets into the sedimentation process of things. We are standing right by our flocculators. And after coagulation, this is the flocculation process. And what this does, it provides the mixing for the chemical to mix really well with the water. And it goes through six stages at this plant of flocculation. This is our first two stages where the water is really mixing rapidly to make sure the chemical reaches all the water. And as it goes through the flocculation stages, by the time it gets to the sixth stage, it's barely mixing, and that's when you can see the flock really forming. And all that is done right before it goes to our basins, which is our sedimentation process. Here we are up on top of our basins. Um, we've gone through the coagulation process, and the water's gone through our flocculation process through the flocculators. And once it comes into the basins, this is where all the mixing stops. And all that flock that we form in the coagulation and flocculation process, that's heavier than the water. So that flock is gonna to settle to the bottom where we have collector mechanisms that'll take that flock and put it in our alum ponds. And what you have as you go through the basin, the clear water is gonna come up to the bottom and up to the top and go over these weirs and these channels, which we'll see in a minute and that water is basically 95% clean. And that's the water we send to our fourth stage of the treatment process, our filters, the filtration process. We're on the back side of the basin, which is the end of the sedimentation process. And as you got water coming into the basin, you also have water going out. And right here is where this clean water comes up through these tubes, these blue tubes you see in front of you. And it goes through these channels. And this water is what goes to our filter. And here we are standing in front of one of our filters. The Chelsea water plant has eight of these filters. And the water that comes out of the back side of the basins that we talked about a little while ago comes into all eight filters at the same amount. And these filters are part of the filtration process. And what happens is the water coming out of the basins comes onto the top of these filters. These filters have a dual media, and our media is sand and anthracite. So the water that comes into these filters has to penetrate through the sand and anthracite. And once it does that, what comes out of the bottom of these filters is what we call polished water. And this is basically the end of the physical part of the treatment process. The water that comes out of the bottom of the filters then goes and gets disinfected and this is where we add our corrosion inhibitor and we add our lime to bring it in the, to the, the pH into the proper drinking water range and once we do that 
it goes into our clear wells, which will give us the contact time we need for the water to stabilize again and the chemicals we just injected into the water to react with all the water. So here we are in front of our transfer pumps and our clear wells. And after the water has been disinfected and the fluoride and corrosion inhibitor and the lime has been added to the water, that water that comes out of all the eight filters comes here. And here it goes to our clear well over here, which is underground that holds a million and a half gallons. And from that clear well, it gets pumped into our bigger clear well, which is right over here, that holds three million gallons. And as it goes through these clear wells, right before it, it goes to our high service pumps that pump the water to the communities. We in we inject it with ammonia. So here we are at the end of our treatment process. As you can see behind me, we have the clear wells and we also have our high service pumps. And once it comes out of this last clear well behind me, right before it goes into our high service pumps is where we inject the ammonia. And this forms chloramines for the, our disinfection for the system. And these high service pumps pump all the water to all the tanks you see out in the communities and to everybody's home and business.